hey, ny dag, ny død. Øh, uh, fortsæt den. Ja, uh, okay, så de har fundet et muligt hus. Uh, det eneste problem er, at... Så der er sådan... Det, det, det er lidt mærkeligt layout, fordi at så der, hvor man... Du er sådan... Du er sådan... Øh... Uh, du ikke, ikke... Du ved, der, hvor man sådan kører, du ved, en den... Sådan, du ved, opkørsel til huset. Som er på, du ved... Øh... Uh, som er sådan en del af huset, der er der også et andet hus, der er lige ved siden af selv, man skal sådan køre forbi, hvis man sådan deler sådan plads med, med, med sådan sine naboer. Nå, det er en af de hus. Øh, men, åh oh, nej, det, det er jo rigtigt. Det, nå nej. Welcome back to oh, the whole night place, guys. Today we're gonna be eating. Yo, yo, yo. All bindings, baby. And, um, as you can see, currently we have the Vengefly Kings fighting right now. Holy shit, hold din kæft, jeg prøver at lige forfælde. Hold din kæft, jeg prøver at lige forfælde. Skidret ræk, hold kæft. Det var faktisk ret vigtigt, der var ret vigtigt. Det var faktisk ret vigtigt, der var ret vigtigt. Det var faktisk ret vigtigt, der var ret vigtigt. Det var faktisk ret vigtigt, der var ret vigtigt. Hvad? I'm just having a fun time with my friends. Let's out, please. For honor, so I'm just... Shut the fuck up. I almost missed that attack, but it's okay. Hey, good off of mute, man. Ah, fuck, man. No. Anyway, so as I was saying, uh, Fuck, yeah, I'm muted him. Oh, man, I took some damage there. No, why do you want to kill Valdemar? Oh, no, join me in the lobby. Oh, no. Should we kill one Valdemar? Oh, yeah, shit. sure. Okay. I'm going to go into training. Um, okay. Training, you're here. Do you have a controller or a keyboard? Controller. Why? No, I just... So, training. Right. What will you yeah. tell me about your story? Okay. You can learn some tricks. Okay, så so trading arena. Jeg muter lige Gustav, hvis han er færdig med at smule det. Jeg har muter Gustav. Jeg har også muter ham. Fuck, han irriterer det. Okay, okay. Så, nu kan jeg forklare. Okay, så. Bare sig, hvad jeg skal gå ind på først. Hold kæft, hvad du har. Og så trading arena. Okay. Øhm. Men, okay. Så der er der sådan et hus, som er sådan, man skal sådan dele plads med, basically. Jo. Og det er lidt, det er lidt træls, men, åh nej, det er rigtigt. Det er jo rigtigt. Øhm. Det er jo. Det, 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 fyr, det fyrer med. Det fyrer med. Hva? Det, 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 det er en del af, af huset. Hva? Der, der, der er to huse. Nå? Der er to huse. <laughs> What, What the fuck? fuck? Mm -hmm. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Øh, vil ramme min to, to øh, kusine i hovedet eller? med en metalbat. Oh, nu skal jeg peek her nu. What the fuck? Ja, yeah, nej. Jeg, jeg trykkede bare på en. Jeg trykkede bare på en random. Fuck. Jeg mener, jeg vil prøve at lære noget med, med, med Warden Nej, jeg gider ikke spille Warden Hvorfor spiller du ikke Shigoki egentlig? Jeg tror, du, jeg tror du, var en, du var en Warden fiend Ja, det er jeg også Men det er jeg tror, ikke Jeg tror faktisk godt, at du ville kunne lide PK Fordi hvis, øh, Så inden man trykker på, øh, på, øh, på, øh, på, øh, på sådan R1, så vinder man Jo Så light attack Vind knappen mm -hmm. <laughs> Min yndlings Oh, fuck, uh, okay, prøv at guard break mig Og så, og så, og så bare spam dit light attack Hvad er guard break? Det er fir, uh, firkant Og så, og så spam, ja, så, så bare spam det Which I'm not proud of that period of my life But it is one that I cannot escape Bare blive med at spam det, bare Ehm, anyway yeah. So yeah, I recently found for honor Maybe like a month oh, ago A month really ago? It's a really fun, fun time I like playing with my friends Probably wouldn't be as funny if I didn't play with friends It took a Long time to get used to the control book. I've never played a game like it. It's completely different from anything else I've played. Just a fun time now. Uh, I personally main Hitsukiri, a powerful heavy attacker, mix up intensive guy with a lot of uh, hyper armor, chargeable heavy attack, meaning that I can just essentially pull on pressure by constantly f um, threatening with powerful moves that they can't really interrupt uh, because they're hyper attack, meaning they have to dodge it. Now the cool thing about that is I can also feint all these attacks that I'm oh, um, just oh about God. as I'm about to hit, I stop and um, in fact do a different move like hard break, which is really cool because I constantly keep this pressure oh my off uh, my opponents where they think, oh shit, what's he going to do, is he going to hit me in a sec or is he going to guard break me again, feint it and do something else, what do I mean? always keep, keeping them on their tones, being really mixed up intensive, making sure they never know when my next move is and it's just a fun time, I love these mind games games. Or you have a lot of different tools you can use uh, different ways of doing it. I like uh, tricking oh, people. Right, like, anyway, like one of my favorite games as I was a kid, apart from you, like the Rainbow Six Siege in Minecraft, was Team Fortress 2, and I constantly just played Spy. I didn't really, I wasn't really good at like gunplay at all, so I just went behind people and stabbed them, and I just enjoyed being invisible, going around, having a fun time. Completely ignoring my team's goal. I, I doesn't matter for me. I was just having a fun time on myself. I like tricking people. In a different game, more uh, new one, 
uh, well, I guess it's not new anymore, but it's a more recent memory, is Apex Legends. I was uh, having a really fun time with the Horizon for a bit, until I met, like, Mirage, who is, like, one of the worst characters in the game because he doesn't have any movement options or direct damage dealing at all or recon. Can't just have him do anything useful, except he can make tiny fake clones of himself that uh, trick the enemy. And it's really, really powerful tool in the right hands. Of course, it only really works if uh, your uh, opponents aren't very good at the game. Because if they are used to the game, as well, they will know what the moves that you should look like. Maybe more, uh, be more, kind of like, uh, how to explain this. Because people who are playing Team Fortress 2 uh, knows that spies exist. They are really good at counting them now in this uh, later period of the team. Spies are not good at all anymore. Unless the team just forgot that the enemy had a spy. You can only really switch to spy and get a kill after that. If people are good, like team comp just saying, hey, we have a spy on our team. You will not be having a fun time, it's just fine. And the same thing with Ram Mirage. People Shit, know a gold. Yes, the thing, and therefore it's kind of a troubling counter. Anyway. Oh, fuck. Um, but let's uh, move back to that Mirage. Sometimes because it's a gun game like that, then you, st you still are like powerful, as powerful, maybe a little bit less powerful than the other heroes because you don't have any more powerful tools. But you can like make a different target other than yourself that might only work for a little bit because they just shoot it and realize, oh, it's a clone, so whatever. But they still have to respect it for a little bit, and that's the time, I think. Kind of the same with the security that you make this heavy attack and they unblock all you have to, uh, you have to like respect it. You need to like, oh, do I parry here or dodge? It's kind of a that. difficult. Oh yeah. The greedy apple, super fierce damage. Super fierce damage? Yeah. When well? Yes. Yeah, so... Could owe the items? Yeah. Whoa. And it's a massive damage. It has a kind of temporary. Uh, the other end of the bar for each item. The uh, the other massive damage is the hard item protection for the high. Damn. I don't know what you did. It's funny as well, it's not a problem. No. Hey, yo, Gusto, Gusto, you booked it to me in commentary. To kick my go. Oh, hell yeah. No, it's because I see what he. Good, okay, you are a little, like, little bit stiller. I can't come with you anymore. I can't talk with you. Dude, yeah, shut the fuck up. Yeah, I can't see you. But it was just, I had a big hit. I was like, I don't know how to see you. I think it was the best experience in my life. I had 8 passive items. But it was just going to be really good. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, because I had a big hit. I thought it was just better. Because I had a big hit. Alright. Sick. Wow, it's sick. I don't know what it's like. To all my friends at home, uh, my viewers, and uh, whoa, what the fuck? Oh, that, yeah, that, okay, that, okay, that heavy attack. Alright, uh, there's a glitch on Discord, ah, I guess. Okay. Visual bug. No matter. Anyway, let's get back to the game here. I see Visual bug. Did the stream return? It seems you just kind of decided to leave right. underground for a bit. Oh, uh, that happens sometimes. Well, sure. Maybe I shouldn't have streaked there because I really want to be able to use my uh, soul for yeah, healing. Uh, Especially with only 4 dodge, HP and this low damage I put. You yeah. need to get Oh, in this fight. I don't like this fight. I lost to it last time, oh, which is. Uh, I mean, I lost to Sisters or something. I don't know if I got it. It's a pre upload. Uh, funny, I lost to this guy recently. Some of my videos are a bit out of order because I. Uh, <laughs> Fucked up the recording on one of them and like uploaded the one that was yeah, supposed okay. to be uploaded a long time ago, but I guess I forgot. How? Um, it's kind of a weird time. Okay, okay. Uh, so uh, I don't know which happened. Point is, I lost to this guy somewhat recently, and I really don't like it. He's not a hard boss. He's yeah, not a boss. I'm not sure why he's here. He's just an enemy. And I lost him. So that's uh, a yeah, crippling my ego a bit. Oh. Yeah, I stopped yeah, you... like, yeah, yeah. the most irritating so character. I hate him really much. My character is really sad. It's only an irritating character. That's my thing. It was Valve moment. Oh, it's your style. I thought that Dan Skov was stuck in style. Style? I can't believe it's like, oh, it's my style, you know. Anyway, back to the game, guys. I'm playing against Brooding Moloch. Uh, 
Hoping to get some combo stuff. I've been practicing. I've been labbing some uh, stuff. Look at this right here. Ooh, careful streak on him through there. Dude, fuck one. yeah, Tesco lead Ciso. Damn. Oh, wait, how are we the same enemy? Nah, d yeah, I have a Ciso, bro. Mm. It isn't. Oh, uh, thank god he moved right there. I want to be in this. Very uh, inconvenient to be able to see. You can also, of course, Cyclone Slash this enemy, but I am much more comfortable just attacking like this and then shrinking every now and again. You can't just say this enemy, how dare you disrespect the Tiso like this. Of course, I get the ability to um, be more safe, because Cyclone Slash is a bit more I do not care. movement while doing it, and you miss out on that damage output oh, while slick. you're charging. Mm. Uh, I think overall it's a positive game, but sometimes like he jumps around and does stuff, and you have to like end the uh, yeah, Cyclone well. Slash prematurely. So, for this sake, oh god, thank that a great Mato and Aura fight beginning at least. He didn't even use his special attack once. Oh, good times, good times. Okay. And they're both here. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ooh, dash, perfect timing. I hit twice, get my soul up, do a little great slash. Save cloak. Bop bop. Get some good damage out there. Uh, maybe I should do like some shriek here. And jump over him. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Mm. But I can snack some mom in the fantastic. Oh shit. Okay, I do some damage there is kind of unnecessary. Anyway, full HP again. Uh, luckily, it's really easy to heal in this fight. In the beginning, when you're facing them, if you're a new player at this, it is kind of a trouble heal healing fight. I, uh, I at least had a lot of trouble doing it. But it's only because you have to realize the patterns. That when they do this, they start up their attack, you get in a moment where the other guy does not attack at all. And like, while he's attacking, the other guy's waiting for him to finish the attack. You can position, position yourself in the right... Um, place and uh, avoid taking any damage whatsoever which is a good time even gives you enough time to heal yeah. or you show like a stray shade and i like to jump over them and do some cool stuff uh this guy yeah. in this second phase he really wants to use his special move he doesn't want to be like uh like he lost his brother just lost and i uh. think it's because you know he's using a special move because oh shit my brother lost it's probably because he didn't use his special move enough i'm gonna just spam yeah, mine over and over again which is kind of annoying because um, yeah, it means I get a little bit less damage up on him. I can just hit him three times, dash through him, and you shriek. Instead, I have to like wait a bit while he's doing the cyclone slash. Sometimes Spock will have above him a little bit, doing a dive onto him. Uh, works quite Giggy. well, honestly. Giggy. Just didn't do it this time for some reason. But something good, you can also do is just be shriek anyway. And like start off some uh, cyclone slashes or something. I don't know. Uh, it really didn't use much. Uh, I didn't really play that well against him this time, I'll be honest. Ooh, I almost took some damage to zero, that would be embarrassing. Anyway, um, doing a bit of shriek there, nice, that was a good one. I really hate this guy, because sometimes I take damage to him and it was really, really embarrassing. I remember this time in recent memory that I just took like three times the damage just to the stage, which is depressing. And also like, I ended up having to heal during this fight, which is just not fun. You. If you take damage once, just kind of ignore it and keep going, because the next fight you can heal it anyway. But uh, during oh this fight, you can heal, it's nah, just annoying to do. This guy though, really easy to heal it. You dash here and heal there. <laughs> or if you don't, if you have full HP, you don't want to shriek. Pretty much the case for every enemy. You always want to shriek. This time I'm doing this because I'm worried about taking damage. That was kind of a oh, unnecessary, good. but... Still about 60 to 65 damage. I don't know why, but Dive actually have a different uh, damage output. Depending on absolute chance and nothing else in that. Five or less. Oh my god. So you just get 60 or 65, which is kind of a weird thing about that. Um, but are they canon the Ghost Osea? Uh, yeah, I looked into the damage numbers and they didn't see any explanation to why it's just uh, dive. Sometimes there's 65 and sometimes there's 60. Huh. I know the attack is built up in three different moves. Like, first there's just the actually descending thing, diving down. Oh. That has a hitbox as well, dealing 15 damage on its own. Huh. If you hit an enemy, like, we are on top of them while you attack. You actually do a little bit more damage than you would if you just like hit them with the shockwaves and stuff. Fifteen more to be exact. Other than that, the um, initial the big boom is I pretty much I'm pretty sure it's like thirty to thirty-five damage. That's the one that's weird. It's like uh, it's a bit of a fluctuating uh, damage output. That is so but goofy. Then the last, the second hitbox, you know, uh, the big bigger one, it comes afterwards. That's really not that much damage at all. It's like fifteen or ten. Wait, it's... And huh? What the so, fuck? Okay. Honestly, if you want to use dive, you need to hit him with the initial blow, which does like 30 to 35 damage. Uh, and once you do that, you'll probably hit it with the second one again. So you're getting like a, a pretty much 
Uh, guaranteed 45 damage usually. That's like a good thing to be expecting from a Damn. dive. Of yeah, course, it's always good a lot. to use Shriek because the Shriek is uh, 80 damage if you hit with everyone. The Shriek is also built up in four different attacks. You have 20 damage on your own, so if you only get one hit with the Shriek, it's less effective than a Shade, shade Blasting there. But if you have it all four, it becomes 80 damage right at the back. Uh, in perspective, a single Nail Strike with all bindings, uh, while you have the full single Nail, is 13 damage. So you like pretty much do eight times the amount of damage as a single nail swing with a shriek. Okay. If you get a full shriek, so that is absolutely always worth it to do. Really, really powerful move. Holy shit! Um, of course you can also yeah, use the. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm actually kind of taking some damage here. A lot of damage here against the easiest boss fight in the game. I hate Oblobbles. I hate Oblobbles. He's not hard. He's not hard. He's not hard. I just need to look, uh, and I can see the projectiles coming my way, which is yeah, easy right. dodge I'm because hard. they're slow moving. It's anyway, actually in the first place. Oh, Only thing that could be yeah, uh... Absolute. <laughs> yeah, you have a like nice tip. Anyways, as oh, I was saying, the these guys the are... Um... No, oh, what? I really unfortunate. That's an unfortunate damage. I don't really... Okay, I should be more careful. I'm gonna go back here. Ooh, I might die here. Let's go to the road. Okay, if I survive this, I can heal. Victories. Nice. And then I want to go here. They're completely out of sync. That's the problem. There's a constant okay. bombardment right now, which is not a good thing at all. You usually want them to attack at the same Samurai time because win. sure, there's Samurai more bullets. And, oh, he's moving towards. Well, he's that, that's so that's cruel Tools fate. Bro, I'm, gonna I'm gonna heal here. I'm gonna heal here. Okay, good thing I did. I'm gonna do some slide slash. Slide slash slide also does a really just a lot of damage there. Sixty more uh, on the same one with the. Um, Shade Blast, of course, as I said, does 30 damage uh, on its own. But if you hit twice, it's 60 damage, which is still less than a Shriek, but it is still, like, it is good damage. Anyway, uh, Cyclone Slash as well is really powerful. All Great Slashes are, uh, and like, Air Slash does 25, uh, no, sorry, 2.5 times nail damage. Meaning that is, one Great Slash is better than two nail swings, it's usually good to get that. Now, Cyclone Slash, each individual hit, because there's a lot of hits you think maybe they do less damage than the Grain Slash, and they do. But they still, each individual hit still does more damage than a Nail Strike, which is part of me at least. It does 1.25 damage as a your normal Nail Strike, and if I have 13 um, strike of Nail Strike, it is... If I'm correct on the math here, it should be like, I don't know, about over 15 or something, I don't know. Point is, it is, um... Absolutely worth it. If you hit twice with the Cyclone Slash, you hit as much as a Great Slash. And if you hit three times, you just hit even more than a Great Slash, which is really powerful because usually when oh, you can hit it, you always want to go with it. Oh, yeah, of course, the Streak is always better, but second best Cyclone Slash. Look at that. Hit three yeah. times. <laughs> that is a uh, 3.75 damage with the Nail Strike, which is really good because it comes out so quickly. Especially in boss fights like this that kind of teleport around, you get time where you aren't really hitting anyway, so you might as well charge up that Cyclone Slash. And if, of course, Great Slash is also just a great movie, so it's 2.5 damage. Uh, 2.5 nil damage, you know what I mean? Because um, it goes with your nil. A lot of things in this game skill from nil, so that's kind of interesting. Um, interesting fact about all bindings. Having all bindings, well, I guess just nil bindings is what I'm talking about. Um, you don't actually go down to the like the worst nail because the initial nail in Hollow Knight does five damage per swing but as you may remember from previously when I was speaking about nail damage is this one in all bindings does 13 damage so you might ask how is that the case I thought I was regressing down to the worst one well actually no there's no other nail in the game that does only 13 damage it is just it is entirely Let's up to um... yeah what the fuck uh, it kind of put me out of the loop here. Um, as I was saying, the 13 damage from the nail thing Hello? is entirely in the pantheons only. No. Uh, no. In reality, the nail deals with from 5 to 8 no. damage and then 10. No, I think 12 and then something else. I don't yeah. uh, fully remember. Yeah. Yeah, it's not relevant to me. All I know is this one does 13. Don't need to know what the base nail does. No, it's beautiful. Cause... Really a tough time because the mod gave me a lot of customization 
like able to like completely change the uh, value of my nail and like health and stuff. Yeah. That's what I was gonna do with it. But, okay, I have to like, uh, fake uh, having all bindings okay. on. You know, it's not real, I but I could um, pretend if I just Before. manually change the values of all the amount of soul I can get, all the amount of health I can get, all that. But I was having trouble getting it to work, and I just found a different mod that gave me all bindings permanently, which worked wonders because I could also just practice against other bots as well. Fun time. Anyway, my point is, um, so oh, there you go in street first. Uh, only three hits. That's all. <gasps> oh, early damage in the model. I might just shut the fuck up here nice. because this is. Oh, okay. Yep. <laughs> Why is he going above me so much? That's cruel. Okay. Uh oh. Fuck. Why is he not dead yet? Huh. Oh my god. Whew! Restful mom move fight. Holy shit, hit me three times really early going through my streaks. Had nothing but... Oh, yeah, yeah, nothing to do. Holy mm, shit, that was tip where I do it, man. Unfortunate yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Luckily we gave him two more afterwards. Holy! I'm, sure I'm not really sure. At least you can do it really easily. Uh, you just need to make take care of these things for three times. And then he will last one here. Ah, uh, okay, that was kind of unfortunate. I'm gonna, like, take care of these guys real quick. And then do this. Okay, there we go. Killing full. Usually you can be this boss in like less than 10 seconds because you can just uh, streak, oh, go up here. Streak, cyclone slash, streak, cyclone slash. Really easy boss. Of course, right there I needed to heal because I was on such low ah, HP. Next boss isn't difficult at all even. Just that recently oh, giving up to the later bosses, I've become okay. so used to the next like broken vessel. The much a... Uh, well, I am gonna say nice. much harder, but that's not really the truth. It's still a really easy boss. He's just a bit faster than this. That's that was cool. spooky of me. Which just makes him slightly, an this guy slightly annoying to fight against because you expect him to be a little bit faster because that's what you're used to. And that might do some and um, heal some unfortunate damage to you. And also, this guy has his own special attack with the head bobbing and the. Yep, he's probably gonna do it soon. I kinda cancel it out. I'm sorry about that. But he just kind of headbobs and shoots a lot of his out. Really easy attack to dodge because it has a distinct pattern you can just learn and uh, become immortal. Unfortunately, I did take some damage for no reason. Once again, I canceled the animation by uh, staggering him, and I haven't actually shown the headbob in the yet. Which is unfortunate because I want to show what I'm talking about. Now it's going to do it though. Look at this. Okay, I canceled it every single time. The point is, once you do that, you can jump above him and like uh, pogo him from side to side and because this. Uh, Take a shot in a specific pattern each time, you can just completely oh dodge out there. And then once you take three times, you get a uh, ability to just use dive anyway, making you invulnerable. And the fight's pretty much over once you start doing that move. Because you can get some consistent damage easily. And Shit, there are a lot of damage as well. No shrieks, however. Uh, usually bosses without shriek take a little bit longer because they are annoying. And you can't use the most powerful move. Especially in all bindings when you only do the little damage. Yo, shield. Uh, baby. 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 Like baby. Please. 13 damage. You want to be using all the tricks you can get, like using streak all the time, dive as well, just to preserve health. Stuck. Which you only have four. And then you <coughs> start cyclone slash because, and all the great slashes. The nail art in general. You guys, they just amplify your damage more. In the base game, I never really used nail art a lot because. It's not necessary, you can beat Hollow Knight pretty easily without using any of the uh, wow, wow, wow. more powerful tools. It kill? If I were to push it now, uh, still probably wouldn't. <laughs> <because it's laughs> I can just uh, push it by nail.